Don't work too hard. Guys trying to radar people. I got really lucky because I was only going 30. And there's a cop right there. <laughs> cop just finally going nine. about bad timing to see a cop, hey, eh? holy shit. One person side show here. So we got the Seaver Moto set here. Okay guys. See the Talaria tape? Oh shit. Look at that. Look at that real set. So here's the wheel set guys. It's looking pretty sick. Front wheel. Okay. Yeah, it seems a little skinny from what I thought it was gonna be. Painted some of the Paying some of the numbers. Thirty-two. Now we're at thirty. Okay guys. These are ready to be thrown onto the bike. Out. Oh, there it goes, popped up. See if these are better. I took the pad out. I didn't get the footage of me spreading the, uh, using the old pad to push the um, caliper out. But anyway. There you go, there's the new one. I got this, and I have this. And they both seem to fit perfectly inside the new wheel set. Okay, so let's put this axle through to there. Lift the wheel into position. Uh, so I got it through, and I got the brake pads around the fucking rotor. So what do you wanna do? Get it so it's all the way through to the other side. And then you wanna put pressure on the suspension. Push the suspension upwards until you get your axle in. Boom. So there's the first look. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Don't wanna over tighten. You know what, it might have been a good idea to take the chain off right now while we're at this. So to take a chain off, I don't know if any of you guys want to learn how to do this right now, but so this is the master link. So I'm going to show you how to take that off really quick. So normally I'd use a screwdriver to do this, but I couldn't find one. What you want to do is you're just going to want to push this master link while holding the wheel everything you're gonna push it forward with some sort of object like i just use an allen key and you see it just popped off there boom you're not gonna want to lose this this is an important part of this chain but now you can take the chain apart take the chain apart pull out this uh the one link off the other part of the link and now you're taking your chain off successfully and to get it out of here you might just want to if you just pull on it, it should turn the gear out and it should just come up. And like I said, this is all, there's some important pieces here on this chain. So there's a million ways you can do it. I'm just going to put it back together. I put, I put this on here when I was just like desperate 
to try and put this setup to it together. So this is a non-O-ring chain. The only chains they had were were those ones at the time. So I'm gonna put it back together. So now you know the whole chain's here and you can use that again. So you're gonna to wanna to take off the calipers, or the one caliper, sorry, it gets in the way, the rear caliper. Always make sure you're placing your bolts somewhere <laughs> that you can grab them easily. Okay. So just uh, pull out to the side and uh, view it for later. Now what you gotta do, you gotta finagle the rim a little bit. I can totally see what's without the rear, the weight is totally all, it's not situated prop or properly. Once I'm pulling this out, I can feel it falling over forward. So you're gonna wanna watch out for that. What you're gonna have to do right now is reposition your bike so it doesn't fall over. My setup's pretty jank. You can obviously tell that. I hope it doesn't fall over in the process of me doing this, but we will see. From here, you're gonna wanna pull the old brakes out. You can use a pad to push the calipers in. So I was looking for some uh, Shimano pads and then a bunch of people on one of the forums was saying that basically these these ones were as good and that they didn't really like the Shimano so I don't know I'm gonna take one for the community right now and I'm gonna try these ones and we'll see if they suck or if they're okay I'm gonna test them out so you guys don't have to okay you can see what you need to do is swap out this uh, thing right here onto your rim and you need to swap out the one on the other side onto your rim and uh, that should basically be it the teeth they basically look almost the same but a tiny bit different I am going to run the stock one right now that they're giving you you go on here like this this thing goes like this now what we need to do is pop the axle through one of these axle blocks so we have axle block here I wasn't recording that it was kind of too hard for me to like mess around with first look so what I did last time we done again Maybe not, maybe this one's too hectic. It's brand new, right? There we go, got it off. Oh, I wasn't recording all that. Well, there's two O-rings. And then you got this piece here. And there's gonna be another O-ring here. So what you might wanna do is just take this piece away and put it with all your other shit. When you're trying to put this, fish it through where it's supposed to go. Get yourself some slack over here because this is going to be the hardest part is trying to get this chain around that sprocket it's easier than trying to pull the engine so you can see right now that i'm a couple links off of where i would like to be seems like we got to move the we got to get closer still or else we could put we could add some links dude it's possible See, they could have used, they could have supplied a little bit longer chain. I'm, I'm basically having to take away, it's gonna change the way that this thing rides like drastically, cause look at how far I had it back before. <laughs> I'm moving it forward like over an inch. Had to break a link. For some reason, the, the chain that came with that setup was too short, I could not use it. So that's kind of interesting. I took out the wrong link. You gotta make sure that the links, you're leaving it with two insides so that you have the ability to use the master link to put them together. Do you not believe me when I say five minutes? Not really. 
Okay, well, I'm literally like, I just got to put this stuff away and the bike away and put this brake on. Okay. There we go, guys. Shit's so tight. Oh my god, it's so quiet. This shit is crazy. Quite a bit more zippy on this thing now. <laughs> Damn. It's a lot harder when you come down on the front wheel in uh in the supermoto wheels. Guys, the bike is like way way more nimble. Like not even like not even just a little bit. It's like way more nimble. Huh. This new wheel set is so tight, dude. <laughs> God damn, this shit's way better. Ooh. This is where I crashed yesterday. Right here. Listen to this thing now. Oh my god. A little more zippy now, I gotta say. <laughs> oh man. I was worried about not having enough um, torque to do wheelies. But I really have enough torque to do wheelies like all day long. Hey. Got trying to radar people. Hey, would you do me a favor and could you t if I was to drive by at 30 on this, can you tell me how fast I'm actually going? Yeah. And I gotta give you the course of speech that shouldn't really be on the roadway at all. Okay. Well, that's your power. Speed. 